Hey guys, it's Scott Coom. And how many of you heard about vitamins? And there are some vitamins that are very good. It's actually got whole foods, condensed, and freezer packed, and all these different things. And there's those like over the counter, one a day vitamins that is just all um, chemicals. And there's no actual food in there. And people say, you know, you could get more value if you ate the gravel off the road and stuck it in your mouth as you would from a one a day because it's just not going to get absorbed because it's all chemical manufacturing actually a lot of it is actually from oil based products um, that's like drinking gas and um, you know it's it's not something that the body wants it's dead material inert it's, it's just going to pass it through the body system now there's a very very popular home appliance that does the exact same thing and it's driving me nuts I heard about it a little over a year ago and I'm like you gotta be kidding me and you know there's there's been talk about it for for a long time and I've never really paid it much attention and it's called the microwave oh man not that so by design what a microwave does is it uses radiation and heat or to heat up your food. And by that, it's it's changing the molecular content of the food. Okay, so let's say you've got your chicken and rice dinner or something like that, let's say, or pizza that you're just warming up for the day. Um, what it's doing is it's changing the molecular structure and it's changing it from what the body would recognize as real food into something the body recognizes as inert food. It doesn't recognize it as real food. So when you eat microwave food, you might get the the sensation of, oh, I'm full. You know, okay, I've, I've eaten my food. But what the body is recognizing is, hey man, when do we get some food? Yeah, we see you're passing a lot of more garbage down here. And that's not to talk about all the chemicals that are added to all of our foods and our processed foods and our genetically modified foods, which by their very nature, are not going to be um, received as whole food in our body system. And so, yeah, there's a big debate on whether we're going to actually find out what foods actually are genetically modified anymore. Um, but as it is right now, we don't know what foods that we're getting at the store that are genetically modified and our body will not utilize as real food. And there's a lot of people right now going into home gardening for that reason at all, alone. Um, so, what do we do? Um, right now, as of a little over a year ago, when I started paying attention, I bought a little toaster oven, and that's what I use to heat up my food. I no longer use my microwave, um, maybe on occasion to heat up some water or something like that, but it is, it is not something that, that I is for food anymore. A friend of mine says, well, yeah, I'll throw my socks in there and warm them up and put them on my feet. But that's about as much as her microwave is for. And I kind of laughed at that. But um, hope this is informative to you. Um, I want you guys to eat healthy. And I want you guys to stay healthy. Because that's the focus of what I do. And so if something like changing the habits of your microwave will create 10 or 20 or 40 percent of whatever your diet is that actually gets warmed up in the microwave let's save some health okay that's your health that you're talking about and you need to be responsible for it all right thanks guys